Across the Little Big Planet series, there have been thousands of different costumes, spanning from things based on the real world, other games and franchises, and completely original ideas. So I thought that it would be fun to try and rank them all from worst to best, until realizing that that would probably take way too long. Making what I think would be best is if we only focus on the costumes that debuted in the original game from 2008. I've chosen not to consider any of the DLC for this ranking, as I think the criteria for judging them should be different. And there's also just too many for me to do. Which leaves a grand total of 208 different costumes for us to go through from the base game, which is already heaps. The kinds of things that I'll be considering when ranking each costume is their uniqueness, quality, general appeal, and in some cases, how useful it is when creating entire outfits. Keep in mind though that just because a costume might be very unique or iconic, doesn't mean that it can't place poorly if it looks bad. And for anyone wondering, I won't be ranking the 12 different puppet colours as they aren't really costumes. Now, let's get started with the ranking. First off are the costumes that I think are just genuinely bad, or very close to being so. Starting with number 208, Googly Eye Glasses. This costume is really just a gimmick that I can't see getting much use out of, and I don't even like the look of it at all. For some reason the temples are cut short, and it can actually remove Sackboy's eyes, which I find odd. Number 207, Brown Burlap. This is by far one of the ugliest skins in the game. The colours make Sackboy just look kind of dirty, and the texture looks super rough and unpleasant. I don't really care if it might have been used for earlier versions of Sackboy, it's about its representation here, where it is at least accurate to its name. Number 206, Brown Carpet. This is another material where its texture alone just makes it kind of uncomfortable to look at. The colours here aren't necessarily bad, it just doesn't look very good as a whole. And now it's time for the costumes that I don't think are bad, just not very good. Number 205, Blonde Hair Wig. In my opinion, the worst of all the hairstyles. The colours are a bit too green for me, to the point where it becomes unappealing, with the shape and texture also looking like a mess. Like, what direction is the hair even going in? Number 204, Funny Face Glasses. This is a similar type of gimmick costume like the Google Eye Glasses, except the glasses look more normal, and Sackboy keeps his eyes. In fact, the glasses are actually identical to the round glasses, which really makes me think that they should have made the nose part completely separate. There's also some weird texture error going on at the bottom. And we're already up to the point where the costumes stop being unappealing, but just still aren't that impressive, as there aren't really that many bad costumes in this game. Number 203, Gold Monocle. This is a costume that had a lot of potential, but its execution lets it down. The entire thing is pretty much just a small dark circle, without any additional features at all. This makes it practically non-existent during gameplay. Like, you can't see it at all. Number 202, Moustache. For the one moustache in the game that's just called Moustache, it's actually a bit more than a moustache, which isn't a bad thing, it's just the one moustache that I find the least interesting. It also uses the same material as the brown carpet, which looks good here. Number 201, Beard. Here's another costume that uses the brown carpet, where for a costume that's just called Beard, it has a bit too much going on for me to like it. The physics simulations normally enhanced costumes, but here it feels unnecessarily chaotic. Number 200, Long Bunches Wig. This is the first costume we'll be seeing that changes depending on the player's puppet colour, which in this case, ruins the entire costume for me due to how much it uses it. The hairstyle isn't very appealing either. Number 199, Red Stripe Pants. Although this costume is a default puppet item, it's just too simple to gain any interest. The colours don't look bad though. Number 198, Red Stripe Swimsuit. The same applies to the matching torso costume, although this one is a bit better since it covers more of Sackboy and has a part cut out for a zipper, which is a nice touch. Number 197, Plain Natural. I like the idea of this material, but it really just comes across as a darker, more depressing version of the white cotton material, making it terribly boring and not stand out at all. Number 196, Buffon Hairdo Wig. This is another wig that the majority of uses the popper colour, which is disappointing because it's a cool hairstyle. That and the earrings are what makes this costume a bit better. I would have much rather that they took on the popper colour instead. Number 195, Pigtails Hair Wig. Now this is a costume that uses the popper colour nicely. It's only the hair ties that change colour here, and the physics on the pigtails are nice too. But the rest of the costume is just too ugly for me. Number 194, Dotted Line. 
And here's the first material that uses some kind of design for it, which I actually quite like the concept of, but due to the layout of the lines, it just comes across as random and weird looking. Number 193, white burlap. Now this is a burlap material that actually looks nice. The material is rough and textured, but it doesn't come across as worn and dirty. It would be nice if it wasn't just a basic white though. Number 192, brown felt. This material has quite a nice texture to it, and also a colour that's rather unique, being in between purple and brown. However, this doesn't stop it looking a bit rough and muddy looking. Number 191, dungaree top. Without the bottom half, this costume is very minimal and not super interesting. It also uses the popper colour for the whole thing, but due to the darker colours, I don't mind it. Number 190, short sleeved shirt. This is a case where I feel like the popper colour could have been avoidable, but it's not that bad. It is one of the few costumes that puts Sackboy in short sleeves, which is nice to see. Number 189, Farmer's Cap. This hat has a funny look to it. It almost looks too big for Sackboy, and it also has an amusing shape. It's unique, but it's not one of my favourites. Number 188, Green Swimsuit. This is quite an amusing costume that's meant to be quite silly. It achieves its purpose well, but it isn't a costume that I imagine being particularly useful or taken seriously. It is quite funny knowing though that the file name directly calls it the Borat swimsuit. Number 187, Bonnet. This is a basic but cute looking costume for Sackboy, which is made even better by allowing hair to be worn with it. Unfortunately though, it's just a bit too uninteresting. Number 186, Lion Mask. This is a strange costume to me. There already is a Lion Mane costume with actual hair, so I'm not sure what uniqueness this brings. You can't even wear hair with this one at all. I think it would have been better if it was called the Sun Mask instead, as it's a cute costume in that sense. I also never noticed the cardboard on the back, and I always like it when a costume looks like it's really been handmade. Also for some reason, this costume's icon is the only one that's bigger than 64 by 64 pixels. And now we're up to the costumes that I think are generally pretty good. Number 185, Round Glasses. This is as basic as a pair of glasses can get. Black, round, simple. So they're also a bit boring. Number 184, Dungaree Bottom. And here's the better half of the Dungaree Top, where this costume can actually stand a bit better on its own, with the folds at the bottom providing a lot of identity. Number 183, Red Dress. This is a costume that I completely forgot even existed, but despite that, it has a unique shape that looks like a bell, that combining with the colours reminds me a lot of Christmas. The texture at the bottom completes the whole thing nicely. Number 182, Dungaree Dress. In my opinion, this is the best out of the Dungaree costumes, as it's able to be a complete item on its own, with the pop of colour having a neutral effect in my opinion. Number 181, Flip Flops. The only pair of shoes that show both in the icon, where a floral design can be seen, which is totally hiding when you equip the costume. I like the idea of this, as it is unique, it's just the same as the monocle where they're a bit too hard to see. Number 180, Pink Star Sunglasses. On their own, these glasses look really awkward in my opinion. They look weirdly small compared to all of the other glasses, which is disappointing because I didn't remember them this way and it's a unique design. It's only when you add hair to it or something where it starts to look kind of cool. Number 179, Long Moustache. This moustache is a simple and iconic look that gives Sackboy some gruff, although I personally prefer a more elegant look. Number 178, White Knit. There are quite a lot of materials that are pretty much just entirely white without much interest, and I don't think it can get much whiter than this. This one is nice because it's so bright, but that almost makes it look kind of unnatural in a way, and there are already just so many white skins. Number 177, Turban. I like the pop of colour for this costume since I think it helps personalise it. It's also funny how big it is on Sackboy's head, but it's the layers of cloth that makes it look pretty cool. Number 176, Feathered Headband. This is a costume that I'm actually surprised doesn't use the popper colour, where instead there's actually a pretty cool gradient. The feather does look pretty nice with how big it is and the way it moves, but that's about all the interest that there is. Number 175, Escaped Convict. I didn't actually know the name of this costume before this, so there's definitely points for the idea here. But yeah, by now you know that I'm getting a bit tired of these white base skins. I know that here it is actually referencing something, but still. And to be honest, the arrows themselves don't look super good either. Number 174, Red Boxer Shorts. Here's another starting costume that's pretty simple, but it's still more interesting than the red striped pants. They still look like underpants though. 
Number 173, Brown Camo. And here's the first of four camo materials, and this is my least favourite. Mostly due to the fact that the colours aren't very interesting. We've already had some brown skins. The fact that it's meant to look like mud is all I like about it. Number 172, Red Wig. This costume is similar to the blonde hair wig, but it looks a lot nicer and its shape is more normal, and it uses a better looking colour. The texture still isn't the best, but it's a costume that I would actually consider wearing. Number 171, Chicken Tail. This is a unique costume at the very least, but unfortunately it's just very specific to the chicken outfit and looks kind of weird in most situations. That is if you can even see it since it's kind of hiding. Like a few costumes, it serves a certain purpose and not much else. Number 170, Brown Leather. This is the only material in the game that's shiny, so for that reason alone it's pretty interesting. It works really well with what it's going for, but in general the brown is just a bit boring. Number 169, Ponytail Hair Wig. Here's another wig that I just can't get myself to love because of the overuse of the poppet colour, which is really disappointing because I think the hair has one of the best styles. If it was only the hair tie that changed colour instead, this would probably be in the top 50. Number 168, Wooden Wig. The concept alone is what I think makes this costume, since as a whole I'm not the biggest fan of how it looks, but what I do like is Sackboy being able to wear a wig that's literally made out of wood. Being able to wear hair with it also helps. Number 167, Fairy Dress. This is a nice and simple looking dress, but that also means that it's kind of boring. I understand what it's going for, but some kind of variation in colour or effects would have added a lot. Number 166, Elizabethan Trousers. This costume is a perfect example of simplicity with the addition of minor details that add a lot of interest. The rounded ends and black stripes add a lot of character, with the pop of colour also not being too intrusive. Number 165, Grey Camo. It is nice seeing this type of camouflage colour scheme used, but as a costume, it isn't terribly appealing, possibly for reasons that I've already mentioned several times. Number 164, Fringed Dress. This is an unusual looking dress, which is good because it doesn't look bad at all. The puppet colour is used super well, and the combination of materials makes it quite interesting. Number 163, Blue Sari. The combination of colours and pattern for this costume makes it look really cool as a whole. It's also nice that it allows pants to be worn with it. On the back though, you can see Sackboy's pelvis clipping out, and while I do like the wind effect here, you can kind of see all of the polygons making it look rough. Number 162, Big Kiss. This is another material that's just brought down by the oversaturation of white in the list of skins. Again, the concept is there, I just feel like it needs to be more than just plain white with a single decal. Maybe make him blush or something, or add more lipstick in places. It is still pretty cute as it is though, and it's funny imagining something kissing Sackboy's entire face all at once. Number 161, Grey Side Parting Wig. This is a wig that I really like the shape of. It looks very natural and tidy. The only downside for me is the colour. Number 160, Tracksuit Bottoms. I'm very surprised that I never knew that this costume is a Game of Death reference, which, knowing now, makes me appreciate this costume a lot more. This makes the puppet colour work quite well in my opinion, but it is still relatively basic. Number 159, Tracksuit Top. And here's the other half of the costume that the same thing applies to, which is only higher because I feel like the bottoms are a bit similar to other costumes. And again, I only discovered what this was referencing due to looking at the file name for the costume. Number 158, Green Camo. Although this is similar to some other green based materials, this particular shade of green is still relatively unique, which works perfectly for the classic camouflage colour. Number 157, Blue Denim. Here's the first default material for this list, I actually quite like the variety it adds to the selection at the beginning of the game, as the denim texture is quite cool looking, which the colour goes well with too. Number 156, Collar and Tie. The popper colour makes a lot of sense for this costume, and the colour goes along with it well too. I like that that part doesn't change colour. It isn't one of my favourites though, it is just a tie. Number 155, Metallic Tunic. This costume has a few interesting textures on it, with a layout that also looks pretty cool. It'd be great if there was a matching headpiece to go with it. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I feel like the zipper here looks a bit weird since it clips a bit sometimes. Number 154, Afro Wig. This is quite a cool hairstyle, and it actually looks pretty good on Sackboy. I do wish it was a bit bigger and rounder, but it serves its purpose quite well the way it is. Number 153, Blue Camo. This is the best out of the four camo materials in my opinion, which isn't very different than the other ones, I just like the colours the most. Number 152, Life Ring. This is the only waist costume that isn't a tail, and I think it does well. 
It's a pretty amusing accessory for Sackboy to have, that doesn't obscure too much of his body either. I always thought the icon stood out, since it looks more like an illustration and not a render of the model. Number 151, Chicken Beak. I feel the same way about this costume that I did with the chicken tail, where it's a little specific to the set it belongs to. I feel like this costume is able to hold up pretty well on its own though. The string around Sackboy's head is a nice detail, and in general, it's just a cute and funny costume. Number 150, Baseball Cap. The unusual positioning of this costume adds a lot of interest to something that probably would have been kind of ordinary. The pop of colour was a good idea here, and the strap on the back is also a nice detail. Number 149, White Wedding Dress. This dress is pretty cool because of how long it is and the way that it flows when you move around. Aside from that though, it's still just a plain white dress with some interesting texturing going on. Number 148, Blue Circles Denim. It's kind of weird having multiple blue denim skins, but this is definitely the more interesting one. The circular patterns are subtle but effective, and make for a calm looking skin. The texture also looks weirdly unique, I'm not sure what it is but I like it. Number 147, Scale Swimsuit. As far as the layout goes for this costume, it doesn't have much going on, but it makes up for it with its concept and texture. Using sequin as fish scales is a really amusing and effective idea. It really makes it look handcrafted. There's also a nice variety of colours going on here, with blues and reds. Number 146, Crash Helmet. This is nice and basic for a starting costume, and I really like how shiny it looks. I don't think I really like the pop of colour much though, but it fits Sackboy nicely and is fairly recognisable. Number 145, Blue Headscarf. This costume still would have been pretty good even if it was just plain blue, so the pattern on it really adds a lot, and the little scarf it has is cool too. Overall this costume is pretty good, and being able to wear hair with it is great. Number 144, Elizabethan Dress. I like how much of this dress covers Sackboy's body, and the pop of colour allows for an appropriate amount of customization. It uses some of the same doily texturing on the sleeves as some other costumes, but it still looks nice. Number 143, Orange Denim. This is just about the only material that's main colour is orange, which is a little surprising so it makes it pretty unique. The colour itself is quite nice, and I think the texture also blends in a lot nicer than it does on the blue denim. Number 142, Lace Trim Dress. This dress actually feels very similar to the Elizabethan dress, aside from it being black instead of white. Although I prefer this one because there's a bit more going on, like how the back is longer, letting more of the pop of colour be seen. And now we're up to the costumes that I think are really quite good. Number 141, Headdress. This is quite a unique headpiece that goes with the red dress. The shape is pretty cool, and the jewels have one of the most unique materials in the game because of how they're transparent, but also use the pop of colour which ends up making for some really cool options. The physics are nice on them too. Number 140, Fuzzy Scribble. This material is pretty unusual, but it actually works surprisingly well in my opinion. I'm not too sure what it's going for, but what looks to be like pencil scribbles is actually a really charming idea for a game like LBP. Number 139, Black and Pink Dress. This dress is also quite similar to one that we'll be seeing later on, but this one is unique with its neck piece and the separated material at the bottom which visually I'm not a big fan of. I do really like the colours though, black and pink are always great together. Number 138, Shawani. This is quite a cool piece of traditional clothing from the temples. The trim material goes well with most popper colours, and is also interesting looking itself. The dots on the main part of the costume also add a lot of character. Number 137, Yellow Builder Cap. This is a basic but charming costume that works in a lot of different contexts. It really makes Sackboy look like he knows what he's doing. The sticker saying create on the front is also a nice detail, referencing the game's play create share model. And interestingly, the smaller text here reads little big planet, with spaces in between each word. Unlike most other times the name of the game is spelt. Number 136, Roman Armor. This is quite a unique and interesting looking torso costume for Sackboy. I especially like how shiny the armor is, and the material at the front and back of the bottom finishes it off well. Number 135, Pink Hair Wig. The shape of this hairstyle is really cute in my opinion with how it spreads out more towards the bottom. Combining that with the pink colour and soft looking texture makes for an overall sweet costume. Number 134, Cyclops Eye. This is the first eye costume we've seen, and probably one of the more unique costumes in the entire game actually. And that's where it gets most of its charm from, since in general, it isn't one of my favourite looking costumes. It almost looks robotic with the pattern inside of the iris, which I wish was actually controlled by the pop of colour. That would have been an awesome detail, since it is coloured in the icon. Number 133, Bow Tie. This costume is kind of exactly the same as the colour and tie, except there's no colour, and I like bow ties more. 
Again, the pop of color makes a lot of sense, and I quite like the use of it. It's just a very basic costume, but it is nice. Number 132, Basketball Vest. For some reason I never noticed how much pink was on this costume, which actually makes it look quite cool as it's a colour I feel like we don't see very often. I have to think it's a reference to Media Molecule signature colour because of the MM on the front of it. The 20 on the back and 08 on the front referencing the game's release date is also a great detail. Number 131, Green Goggles. This is another simple but solid costume that doesn't have a whole lot to say about it. It would have been cool if there was an actual layer of plastic across where the eyes are, but I can't complain. It does seem weird that you can wear glasses with it though. Number 130, Lion's Tail. This is about as basic as a tail can get, but I'm not sure what else you would want. It has nice physics, and it fits well into the Savannah theme. This is also the only tail that has an apostrophe in its name too. Number 129, Bunny. I always thought the choice of texture looks kind of weird for this material, as I think something like cotton would have been more appropriate. I also feel like the pink covering his whole face is a little odd, but aside from those things, the idea of this costume is really cute and it's done pretty well. It is mostly white, but the fact that there's also pink on his hands and feet is too cute of a detail to have it much lower. Number 128, Zebra Tail. Pretty much the exact same thing as the lion's tail applies here, but I think the end looks a bit better with there being more tufts. It's also a nice detail that it's less frigid than the lion's tail. Number 127, Mermaid Tail. I was surprised to find out that this one wasn't actually called Fish Tail, but I suppose it makes some sense, even though Sackboy still has legs. But anyway, the size of this tail is really nice, as it's very noticeable during gameplay, and the way it moves around sort of makes it look like it's underwater. And like the matching torso piece, the sequin for scales is a really good idea. Number 126, Ringmaster Trousers. The pattern on this costume makes it a lot more interesting than some of the other pants that we've already seen. It still isn't the most amazing thing ever, but it lets them stand out quite a bit. They also just look pretty cool in general. Number 125, White Weave. This material is basically identical to the bunny skin, the pink spots are the only difference. It makes me wonder why this one even exists because of how similar they are. But anyway, I find the texture here very unique and cool looking compared to a lot of other ones that are just cotton or something. The only disappointing thing here is the colour. There are just already so many materials that are mostly white, it's annoying that this one is too, since I feel like a better use of colour could have made this one of the best materials. Number 124, Pink Fashion Sunglasses. These ones are quite stylish with how big and round the lenses are and the alternating colour is quite cute as well. After looking at it for a while though, it does make Sackboy look like he has bug eyes or something. Number 123, Yellow Damask. This is a material that I really like the design and pattern of, but I think the colour doesn't really work very well. For being called yellow, it isn't really yellow at all, or even close to what the icon shows. If it was less orange, I think this would be one of the better materials in the game, since it does have a nice pattern that's almost nostalgic to look at for some reason. Number 122, Long grey coat. I always thought that this costume was pretty stylish, as it's nice having something that covers Sackboy's torso and legs that isn't a dress. And this actually still lets you wear pants with it. The colours are a little underwhelming, but it makes Sackboy look quite serious. Number 121, PVC trousers. I find the inclusion of the pop of colour in this costume really weird, because it's just a lot more subtle than most of the other costumes that use it, to the point where I think it's kind of unnecessary. I like that there is one pair of pants though that's just meant to be shiny, which is why I think it would be better if it was just fully black. Number 120, Soldier's Helmet. This costume has a lot of small detail that makes it pretty interesting. The angle that it's sitting at is most noticeable, but the net texture and strap on the front are also nice details. There's also an outline of what looks to be a heart on the side, which I hadn't noticed before. Number 119, PVC Raincoat. Most of the same stuff applies to this costume that did with the PVC trousers, but it is a bit better. It has a pretty cool layout, with the belt making Sackboy's waist look thinner, the bottom being more spread out, and even the addition of a collar. I actually thought this costume was just completely black for a while. Number 118, American Jacket. I'm not sure what makes this jacket American, or even a jacket, but I've always liked it. For a pretty uninteresting model, it has a nice and symmetrical pattern with decent colours. It goes well with a lot of other costumes, such as Number 117, American Trousers. The exact same thing applies to this costume, but I like it better because of the placement of the stripes. Number 116, Pirate Hat. This is a pretty classic costume and it's exactly what it says it is. Being able to see the cardboard edges is always really cool, but the addition of tape in various places is a really nice touch. The hat does look kind of weird to me from the side view though. Number 115, Tree. I'm not sure how I never noticed, but this material is literally just a recolor of another one. But anyway, out of context this costume just looks like another green skin, 
But with the title in mind, I can appreciate how much it actually looks like a bunch of leaves on Sackboy's face. I do wish there were more shades of green, but it's still nice. It's probably the only green material that uses a layout instead of a repeating pattern. Number 114, Pirate Shorts. This costume has a lot more character than most other pants in this game, with how much they're ripped at the bottom. They are only black, but I couldn't imagine any other colour fitting here. Number 113, Straw. This is actually the first costume from the math category that we've looked at, and it's always nice seeing outfits that differ from what the rest of the category does. This is a pretty good idea that's been done well. The straw has nice physics, and looks very natural in Sackboy's mouth. This could go well with a lot of different costumes. Number 112, Green Felt. Is it just me, or does this costume look more blue than green? Regardless, the colour is actually super nice looking. It makes me feel cool, which the soft looking texture also adds to. Number 111, Robot Trousers. This costume is great for reasons I know I've already mentioned, but instead of just giving Sackboy some metallic leggings, making pants out of tinfoil is a perfect way to make it look like a homemade robot costume. It's also funny how the leg and pelvis pieces aren't actually connected. Number 110, Elizabethan Hat. This is a pretty cool looking costume considering the whole set, but the feather in the hat really lets it stand out on its own. I think the pop-up colour is a nice addition, but I think it should have only been applied to the feather or the hat, not both of them. It makes it look like the whole thing has been dropped into a bucket of paint. Number 109, Bunny Tail. Definitely the smallest tail costume, but that's what makes it cute. It actually uses the same type of material as the bunny skin, which is a nice but subtle detail. Number 108, Orange Stripey. I wish there were more materials like this. An array of striped colours from orange to green are scattered across Sackboy's body, making for a weird but interesting pattern. Again, there aren't many materials that use orange, and the olive green is a nice change from all of the greens we've seen before this. Number 107, White Ruff. This is a simple looking neck piece that goes well with a surprising number of other costumes. The material is super cool looking with the pattern it has, making Sackboy look very formal. Number 106, Dinosaur Tail. This costume gets a lot of its interest because of how big it is, which is pretty appropriate for something like a dinosaur. It almost adds to Sackboy's pelvis too with how low down it is. It does a lot for his figure as a whole. Number 105, Roman Helmet. This is another costume where I feel that the popper colour was used perfectly. The helmet here looks even shinier than the armour from before, which is super cool. I feel like this costume somehow gives him more authority. Number 104, Fur Hat. For whatever reason, the icon for this costume doesn't really match what it actually looks like, since the real thing has a red star on the front. Aside from that, this is just a cute costume that looks very comfortable for Sackboy. It's very subtle, but the two bottom parts move around with Sackboy's movement, and the star adds a nice amount of colour too. Number 103, Cowboy Boots. And here's the first pair of actual shoes aside from the flip-flops. And these ones are pretty solid. They really do look like something a cowboy would wear with the combination of colours and overall shape of the boots. They make Sackboy look very heroic, especially if you wear pants with them. Number 102, Stitch Eyes. And finally, here's the first pair of eyes, which probably have the most interesting shape. I mean, it's kind of a perfect idea to give Sackboy the iconic cross eyes, but make them out of stitches. It works really well. Not that they aren't charming and useful for making a lot of stylistic outfits, they're just my least favourite aside from the Cyclops eye. Number 101, Box Robot Body. This part of the robot costume is very similar to the pants, where I really like the use of tinfoil, and the cardboard box only adds to that. I think it's the simplicity that does a lot here, where seeing Sackboy's torso in a box shape is very unusual and interesting. Number 100, Baggy Silk Trousers. This costume is obviously similar to the Shiwani, which this complements quite well, and the same things apply to both with the nice use of materials. I think this costume is better though, since they're quite good for a pair of pants. They look quite comfortable being so baggy and made of silk. Number 99, Elizabethan Doublet. Like all of the other Elizabethan costumes, this one uses the popper colour appropriately, and has a unique looking material on the sleeves that goes well with the theme. The black lines are also a nice detail, and is overall just an elegant looking shirt. Number 98, Cardboard Hat. This is a really silly costume, but that's part of the reason why it's so good. It's perfect for customization, with how much of the surface area is flat, but it also works well as is, as just a funny costume. Like, how is he even meant to see? It's also nice having the flaps of cardboard dynamic too. Not sure why it's called a hat and not a box though. Number 97, Cardboard Mask. This is very similar in concept to the cardboard hat, although I think it's just a bit funnier seeing Sackboy with something strapped to his face like this. And the string is a nice element too. Honestly, these last two places are probably interchangeable depending on your preference. 
Number 96, Cork Hat. The thing that makes this costume special is obviously the corks, and how they interact with Sackboy's movement. It's very convincing and it's fun to mess around with. It's also just a really nice looking hat in general, almost like a cowboy might wear or something. As amusing as the corks are, I do think they look a little awkward while actually running around. Number 95, Leather Gloves. This is surprisingly the only pair of gloves in the entire base game, so for that reason alone they're quite good, as gloves are a pretty versatile piece of clothing. These gloves in particular work quite well for what they're designed for too, making Sackbo look like he's about to be hard at work. Number 94, Sombrero Hat. A very fun and recognisable design. Seeing Sackboy wearing big hats is always amusing, and this one is perfect for that. The texture also looks super nice, and there's even a variety of colours used too. Number 93, Cowboy Hat. I hope that I'm not the first person to notice that, aside from the corks, this costume is totally identical to the cork hat, which I almost feel offended for not knowing until now. Anyway, I actually feel a similar way with this hat than I did with the sombrero, but with this one giving a more serious tone. The size of it is just perfect for Sackboy with how it almost looks too big for him, with the colours and shape also looking great. It's a simple idea executed perfectly. Number 92, Blue Shell Suit. At first this material just seems kind of odd. It has an orange base with blue and pink scribbles all over, which on its own actually looks pretty cool, just random. It's an unusual selection of colours, using an unusual layout. But like the tree material, I think knowing the title actually enhances this costume, since it really does look something like a shell suit with the chosen colour palette. Number 91, Sequin Dress. This is definitely one of the more interesting looking dresses. I would normally dislike the popper colour here, but because of the sequin, I think it actually enhances the effect that it gives off. It's very sparkly and retro looking. Number 90, Big Quiff Wig. This is a very stylish and recognisable hairstyle. The name alone here is pretty funny, and it genuinely makes Sackboy look pretty cool, especially with how big those sideburns are and the massive curve at the front. It's also amusing how shiny it is. Number 89, Pink Hair with Feathers Wig. This costume has a nice but subtle use of the puppet colour. I kind of wish the feathers used it as well, which have a nice shape and move around with Sackboy's head nicely. My biggest criticism for this costume is how it completely reuses the pink hair wig from earlier. I can't help but think that it would have been better for customization if the feathers were separated, which would let you use any hair that you wanted. Oh well, it still looks pretty cool with the pink hair anyway. Number 88, Ringmaster Top Hat. This is another pretty simple costume that's just done very well. It's nice seeing a cotton material used for the white, while the black is more rough. The texture is actually called sandpaper. The size is again very nice for a hat, being slightly oversized for Sackboy's head. Number 87, Red Poncho. This torso costume is very unique for its shape, which lets it stand out quite well. It has a nice rough looking texture with a variety of colours that represents the canyons perfectly. It obviously goes well with the sombrero too. Number 86, Ringmaster Jacket. One of the things I find interesting about this costume is the opening on the front. It's a shame you can't wear anything underneath, but it still looks nice. The black collar stands out quite well, and the white outline gives it a unique look too. I only recently discovered the yellow buttons on the back, which really ties everything together, making for a surprisingly detailed and good looking costume. Number 85, Top Hat. Unsurprisingly, this costume has a lot of similarities to the Ringmaster Top Hat, with both of its colour and texture, the only real difference being its size and proportions. But I think this hat is a lot cuter, and suits Sackboy more than the other one. I wish it didn't clip into his head so much, but overall, I think I like seeing more of Sackboy's head and hair. Number 84, Antlers. There's a lot of costumes that I just never paid much attention to, and this is one of them. I never realised how big these actually were, which really lets them stand out. I like how it comes with a headband, so again it's like a real costume that Sackboy's wearing, so he didn't actually just grow antlers. But I also really like that when you wear hair with it, it hides this part, making it look very natural and cool. Number 83, Rotten Teeth. This is one of those costumes that I feel is more memorable than a lot of others, simply due to the idea being very unique and amusing. There's only two other pairs of teeth in this game, so it's interesting that they went for something like this, but it works really well. It makes Sackboy look very silly, which sometimes is exactly what you want. Number 82, Lion's Mane. And here's the real one. This costume is super cool, and is done pretty much perfectly with how the mane covers all of Sackboy's head, except for his face, almost giving him a beard. The subtle movement on the hair is really nice, and the colours all work well too. This is the crown of the savannah. Number 81, Green Checked. This material is really funny because it's probably one of the more used skins in the entire game, 
but not because of its pattern, or even the colours. This material has one of the smoothest textures out of any of them, making it perfect for placing stickers on to get just a plain colour on Sackboy. But ignoring that, I actually quite like the colour and pattern on this skin. It's another primarily green one, but the two shades complement each other well, and the checkers add a lot of interest. Number 80, Pirate Eye Patch. Probably one of the more unique glasses costumes, considering that they aren't even glasses. For what's actually a very simple costume, it adds a lot to Sackboy's personality and tone, allowing for a ton of options when making outfits. Number 79, Stripey Lycra. This is a pretty cute material that I think could have benefited from using actual costume pieces, but I guess that's what makes it charming. It's cool being able to add features like a headband and leotard to Sackboy, just with a skin. The colours here all go well together too, but it could have been nice if the base wasn't white. Again. The yellow, blue and pink actually remind me a lot of the shell suit skin. Number 78, Zombie Brain. Another super unique and memorable costume for obvious reasons. It's always really cool when Sackboy's base model is altered, and this is no exception. I have no idea if it's actually meant to be Sackboy's brain, or if it's just a fake one. Either way, even though it is quite cool and unique, it is kind of weird and out of place looking for most outfits. It's really funny though that it has jiggly physics, and is textured to look like cotton, instead of just being shiny. Number 77, Zebra Head. This is a really funny costume because of how it's literally just Sackboy wearing a giant zebra mask. The mask itself looks really great, with the mouth, nose, hair and ears, but even Sackboy looks perfectly fine wearing it. His eyes fit perfectly for the holes, and the matching skin is great for it. As always, when something looks like a real costume, I'm going to love it a lot more. Number 76, Clown. This material actually has an excuse for being mostly white, so I'm not going to complain about it. I actually quite like the colours of the makeup used here, and it's just messy enough to look cool and not ugly. There's also something about it that makes it look like it's changing Sackboy's expression, almost like he's really uncomfortable for some reason. I really like the idea, but I feel like it could have done more. Number 75, Pirate Waistcoat. This is one of the nicer torso pieces, while still remaining relatively simple. The jagged edges from the pirate shorts are maintained, and still add a lot of personality to the costume. The black parts acting as the waistcoat and belt above a white shirt is what I think helps this costume the most. The pattern actually looks similar to the American jacket. Number 74, Green Daisy. This is a pretty unique shade of green for a costume. It's almost like lime, which I like. The daisies being white go really well with the colour and make the costume a lot cuter. It makes me wonder if the green is meant to be grass or something. I do just wish that the daisies were more noticeable, either by being bigger or having more of them. It's very minimal. Number 73, Zebra. This is another costume that's just been perfectly made for the area that it's from. There probably aren't many animals that have a more recognisable pattern than a zebra, and it's just done very nicely here, as the stripes have a lot of variation in size and shape. I like how Sackboy's eyes don't necessarily stand out too. It actually really makes me wish we got a giraffe costume as well. And now it's time for the costumes that are really just exceptional, without any question. Number 72, White Cotton. This is the original white material, which is why it's so much higher than a lot of the other similar ones. This is about as simple as a skin can get, which makes a lot of sense since it is one of the default costumes at the beginning of the game. Its shade isn't too bright or dark like some others, and the texture is nicely noticeable without looking too rough. A perfectly neutral look that goes with a lot of outfits. It's just a shame that there are so many similar skins. Number 71, Wellington Boots. Out of the few pairs of shoes there are, these ones are probably the most basic, which is why I like them. They have a very round and cute shape that wraps around Sackboy's legs on all sides, unlike every other costume in this category. They also have a nicely dark colour. Number 70, Jeans with a Belt. Pretty much all of the costumes that come in the cowboy set just make Sackboy look like he's ready to get down to business, which I can't say about a lot of outfits. This costume in particular is very detailed for only being a pair of pants, coming with an entire belt that goes through loops and everything, and even cuffs on the bottom of the pants. Overall a very nice design that could be used for a variety of different things, which probably applies to every costume that mimics an everyday piece of clothing. Number 69, Senorita Wig. This is one of the better wigs in the game. It surprisingly uses the knit texture unlike every other hairstyle, which makes it look nice and thick. The shape of the hair is already appealing, but the two curly strands at the front really make it a whole lot cuter. The flower is another important part of this costume that really completes the whole thing. It was a perfect idea for this to be controlled by the puppet colour, as well as the hair tie at the back. Number 68, Ringmaster Moustache. Now these are the kinds of moustaches that I like. This costume is big, tidy and fancy, that really makes Sackboy look like a charming individual. 
It's amazing how it moves with facial expressions, especially angry where it angles itself downwards. The texture is also nicely detailed, pretty much being able to see individual hairs. Number 67. Wooden Sword. Seeing Sackboy holding a weapon like this is just cool, and here it's been stylized perfectly for LBP. It's quite funny how thick and short the blade is. It really just makes it look like a toy, which again looks very natural in Sackboy's hand. The whole thing being made out of wood too just completes it, as I couldn't really imagine a sword with these proportions being made of anything else. Maybe there could have been a pirate sword made of metal. Number 66. Pirate Hook. There aren't many hand costumes that replaces Sackboy's hand entirely, and this is probably one of the best ideas for that. The hook looks super sick on its own, and it also goes perfectly with the rest of the pirate outfit. It's great how sharp the thing looks too. Number 65. Green Damask. This is what Yellow Damask wishes it was. There isn't a lot to say about this material, other than how nice the pattern looks on it. I do kind of wish it wasn't another green one, but it does make a lot of sense with the material looking like foliage. Number 64. White Teeth. And only now do we have the second pair of teeth. I think these kind of have to exist if you're gonna give Sackboy the ability to wear teeth, since these are really as basic as you can get. So I appreciate them for that, and they really do work quite well for giving Sackboy some human features. You could wear this with any costume and it would look fine. As good as they look though, there's just something that I find slightly uncanny about them. I'm not sure what it is, it might just be because of how straight they are. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just me though. Number 63. Fancy Moustache. I think I prefer this moustache over the previous one because it's just a bit more serious looking, as there's an element of silliness with the size of the Ringmaster moustache. I think it's the soul patch that puts it ahead here, since that's where the uniqueness really comes from. It would probably look kind of weird without it to be honest. This was always just my go-to moustache when I played this game as a kid, and it's still my favourite today. Number 62. Cartoon Eyes. Like the white teeth, I understand the importance of these eyes existing at all, since it seems like a pretty fundamental thing to have a costume like this, due to having round white scleras and black pupils being the most used design for an eye. Like, ever. And despite being kind of cartoony, they work really well for LBP style. I know I've probably seen these eyes used in thousands of costumes. They're just a bit basic, and again, slightly uncanny for them to be near the very top for me. But I do understand that that's their purpose. Number 61. Cute Lion Ears. Being a cat person probably helps me with liking this costume so much. It's a very easy but cute costume for Sackboy to have. Cute is even in the name. What really makes this costume stand out to me though, is the physics on the ears when you move Sackboy's head around violently. And like the antlers, they really look their best when combined with hair. I do just wish the colour was a bit more interesting though. Number 60. Grey Tweed. I always like this costume because I thought that it looks like TV static. I would always wear it with that one DLC costume which would be a pretty cool idea for a material. On its own though, this is a unique skin. It has a pretty cool zigzag pattern, and the roughness of the texture works really well. I can imagine exactly what it feels like. I honestly wouldn't change anything about this material. Also, kind of subtly, the exact same texture here is used for the farmer's cap. Number 59. Pink Cat Nose. It's surprising that there aren't more noses for Sackboy to wear, so I'm glad that there's at least a couple of them. This one in particular is nicely detailed for how small it is, with also a cute colour. This is just one of those costumes that is pretty basic, but because of that, it's extremely useful for creating outfits, which I value. Number 58. Angel Halo. Believe it or not, but this is the first costume that we've covered that glows, which is always really cool. Even if it didn't though, this would still be a really cool costume just because of the concept. It even has a rod connecting it to Sackboy's head to make it more physically accurate, but I think this is actually a rare case where I would have preferred it if it was absent just to make it more magical but it's not a big deal. It is funny though how the rod is just going straight into his head. Number 57. Cannonball Helmet. This costume is kind of similar to the Crash Helmet, but if it was way cooler. Gorn is the popper colour, but in is a solid shiny black with white and red decals. The big stripe has a lot of character, like Sackboy is really some kind of daredevil, and the number one on the sides makes him seem like he has more confidence than he probably should. I also like that the front goes right across his eyes, making him look a lot more serious than with the other helmet. Number 56. Pink Scarf. This is a nice example of a wig being able to fully use the poppet colour without it becoming intrusive, as the pink scarf takes the main focus of this costume. The scarf itself is quite cute with the way it's tied under his chin, and the parts that the hair protrudes from has been done really well too. I almost wish the two were separated into their own costumes, so it's extremely surprising that it allows headpieces to be worn with it. The scarf also uses the same texture for a skin that we'll see later. Number 55. Red Flowers. This is actually another material that is completely reused for a costume, but we'll see that in a bit. There are actually barely any red-based skins in the whole game, so I really like the addition of this one. Not only that, 
but the pattern itself is also one of the cuter ones, with very round white flowers coming in various sizes covering Sackboy. I also appreciate that materials like this aren't symmetrical down his body, since I feel like that would have been an easy thing to do. It adds a lot of realism, which you know I like. Number 54, Devil Trousers. And this is my number one pair of pants, which are in my opinion, the most interesting looking ones by far. The most obvious thing is the weird shape, where the layered segments almost end up looking like fur, which is probably the point since it's meant to be the devil, but it just looks cool anyway. The colour is also pretty unique for this type of costume, being such a dark red. It makes it look very natural. But even though these are my favourite trousers, it's nowhere near some of my favourite costumes. I do wish this category was more interesting, but I suppose there's just not as much you can do with pants than other categories. Number 53, Rainbow Dot. This is a material with a white base that doesn't actually come across as being primarily white. The concentration of polka dots in a variety of colours really lets this costume stand out from a lot of others. It's a simple layout that's done super well. It would have been nice if the base was a bit different though. Number 52, Pink Fairy Wings. This is a very simple and cute costume for Sackboy to have. I like how it looks to be cut out from a thin paper with a thicker material used to draw the wings on top. It's a really sweet layout. The way they move around in the air so much is a really important detail too, that lets it come more to life. Number 51, Black Tuxedo. This costume is eerily similar to the Ringmaster jacket, with the open front, collar, sleeves and coat tails, but all of these things are what makes it so good. The costume looks really fancy, and the extended coat tails is probably what makes it recognisable because of how they move through the air. This is definitely the best wedding themed torso costume that there is. And now for the top 50 costumes, starting with trainers. This is my top pick for the feet category, and hopefully for obvious reason. These are definitely the most detailed shoes with the coolest looking layout, including laces, distinct soles, and even a toe cap. The different parts of this costume uses different materials which is really nice, such as rubber and a more denim looking one. And all that isn't even mentioning the poppet colour, which is used absolutely perfectly for this type of costume, as it only affects the parts made of fabric. These shoes just look super cool on Sackboy. Number 49. Robot Box Helmet. The entire robot costume all looks like it's been handmade. The headpiece is my favourite part of it though, because of its simple but interesting shape. It is pretty much just a cube, but the domes on the side add more character, and the red and blue lights on the top create the most interest. Since it is a robot costume, it probably should have some electronic components. I just wish they would spin around like a siren or something. The cutout for Sackboy's eyes is also really amusing. I think it was a good idea not to show his mouth. Number 48, Fairy Star Wand. And here's another glowing costume. This item is quite basic, as really all it is is a star on a stick. So the fact that it glows makes it way more interesting. I also only just noticed that the handle of the wand has yellow stripes on it, which is so barely noticeable, but it's a nice detail anyway. I feel like this costume is one of the cuter ones, as it reminds me a lot of a nursery, or something you might find there. Number 47, Cat's Eyes. For how few eyes are in the game, it's quite surprising that there's more than one that glows, since I feel like these ones didn't actually need to. If these were just a normal pair of cat eyes, they would still look pretty cool, but the fact that they do glow is awesome. It's a nice play into the great night vision that cats really do have. They kind of make Sackboy look like a hunter because of it. It could have been cool to use the poppet colour for the iris, but I can see that looking kind of weird. There just isn't a single glowing material in the entire game that uses the poppet colour. Number 46, Ninja Skin. This material might look super basic at first, but it actually has a lot going for it in my opinion, making it one of the coolest skins. Even though it's just a dark grey that it uses, there aren't actually any other materials that come close to this colour, and it's a really cool look for Sackboy to have that I think actually enhances the texture that it uses. It's a shiny canvas-like material, which to me comes across as looking like scales. Number 45, Stitch to Button Eyes. It's not surprising that these were the eyes that Sackboy had during earlier times in development, as it's kind of an obvious thing for him to have as eyes which I have to say does look quite charming considering he is kind of a ragdoll. I'm not sure if I like the red and blue colours as much as plain black for these though, which I almost didn't even notice. But I do like that they don't match sizes and are placed asymmetrically. They always remind me of that kid's horror movie. Number 44, Chicken Wings. Now this is the only flying version of Sackboy that I'm a fan of. I really love that the wings are attached to pieces of cardboard, which are then being held to Sackboy's arms by rubber bands. This is exactly what makes the first Little Big Planet so special. They also just look really cool in general. The physics on the feathers look perfect when they move around. Number 43, Frying Pan. I think everyone knows what makes this costume so great. But before we get to that, I really like that you can just give Sackboy an everyday object and it ends up working really well for a costume. 
I'm not even gonna question for a second why he has a frying pan. It just looks cool and funny. And honestly, it makes me feel like Princess Peach. It would be nice if it was more shiny though. But yeah, this costume is super cool because it's the only one that uses a unique sound effect when you slap another player. Which is such a random thing to include. But it fits so well and it's just hilarious to use on other people. It's a good example of what makes this game so fun. Number 42, Japanese Festival Headband. This was honestly a pretty unexpected highlight for a head costume, as I feel like it goes largely unnoticed. It gives Sackboy a pretty unique look, and wearing it with hair looks super nice as well with how it's angled and the knot on the side. The best thing about it in my opinion though, is the colour and pattern. The pop of colour being used for the checkers is just a really appealing layout of colours that the rough texture goes well with too. It's amazing to me how the pop of colour can both make and ruin a costume, depending on how it's used. Number 41, Dinosaur Mask. This costume is just great. This is how you make putting Sackboy's head inside of something's mouth look good. Since, I feel like there's more than a few costumes that try to do this, that end up looking absolutely horrible. I think it works so well here, because the dinosaur's jaw takes up like 90% of the height, so there's no billboard above Sackboy's head. The teeth being around and in the way of his face makes this look so much cooler too. I'd love to see Sackboy's point of view. The dinosaur itself just looks super funny as well. Like, why are its eyes so massive? The snout is also cute. The texture looks like canvas which is nice, and I really like how floppy the spikes are. Number 40, Pink Stars. This is definitely the most adorable starting skin, but not just because of its colour, which is really cute, but the tiny white dots is what adds a lot of uniqueness. They are stars but it's pretty hard to see. I wish there were more materials that were just nice solid colours. This is also the material that the pink scarf uses. Number 39, Lion Nose. This costume is largely similar to the pink cat nose from earlier, Although this time it's easier to see how shiny it is because of the darker colour, which is what makes me prefer it overall. I think a black nose is more versatile when creating costumes, and more cute in general, but it's probably up to preference. It also matches Sackboy's eyes. Number 38, Patchy Eye. I really like how creative of an idea this is for a material. It really looks like Sackboy just got into a bucket of paint when he shouldn't have, like a pet or a child might do. The main part of this costume is the eye I think, which looks super cool with how it runs down his face. But the ink also being on his hands looks really funny as well, almost like he did this on purpose. It's less noticeable but it's also on his feet, and I think the white base was important for this costume, since it contrasts so well with the black. Number 37, Dollar Chain. This is another classic costume that I'm sure a lot of people remember. It's kind of a minimal outfit that actually gives Sackboy a lot of style. The whole point of it is really just to look cool, which it obviously does well being made entirely of gold, and the symbol actually replaces the zipper. This would probably go with anything that you put on. Number 36, White Neon Eyes. Now these are THE glowing eyes. I really like how simple they made these, being just plain white circles. It really gives Sackboy an ominous look, which is kind of funny. They obviously go well with the costumes that they were made for, but I feel like these are a favourite for making cool outfits in general, which is good because they're pretty unusual. Number 35, Cowboy Bandana. I know this is personally one of my most used costumes, but it's really nice for adding just a bit more detail to your outfit, while still being relatively subtle. Which, on its own, makes Sackboy look pretty tough in my opinion. It has quite a cool look with the bow on the front, and the loose part on the back is nice with how big it is, and the way it moves through the air. The white stripe probably wasn't necessary, but it makes it just that bit more interesting. Which I like. Number 34, Red Flash. Now I know that this is one of the most recognisable skins, and for good reason. This is pretty much the only material that's primarily a shade of purple, even if it's super light. But that's not the important part. The lightning bolt pattern on Sackboy's face is the main attraction for this costume, and it just looks really cool and stylish. The colour really stands out, and the blue shadow it has really goes well with it too. It's kind of subtle, but the parts under Sackboy's eyes are a slightly darker colour too, which adds a bit more interest. This is also one of those costumes where the file name is just straight up called what it's referencing. Number 33, Devil Tail. This is my pick for the best waist costume. For one, this is the only tail that glows. And I think that it also has the coolest looking shape, as the devil is pretty symbolic. The tail is also nicely long though, which lets it show off how it moves while running around. It's pretty flimsy, but also rigid enough. Number 32, Red Roman Cape. Giving Sackboy a cape is one of those things that's just a no-brainer if you're going to be making so many outfits. And this one doesn't disappoint one bit. As this is a Roman cape, the red makes perfect sense and goes with that set really well. And same with its size, as it is a very big cape where it does make him look quite heroic, but it's not quite right for a superhero. The physics are really what makes this costume great though, as pretty much the entire thing relies on being able to flap around in the air, even when standing still, making it look pretty awesome. Number 31, 
Red Devil. This is one of four glowing materials in the game, and probably the most basic one. But despite that, it does use a gradient for the glowing which is unique to this skin, so that alone makes it look pretty cool. Out of all the colours to choose, I'm glad they went with red. I don't think any other colour would have looked as cool or intimidating for this kind of skin. It's also neat how the material maintains a cotton-like texture, even though it's glowing, and it's nice that the inside of the mouth is still black. Number 30, Hero Cape. This costume pretty much has the exact same concept as the red Roman cape, but I think its style is a lot better. The biggest difference is that this cape is instead red and black, which looks a lot more interesting and edgy than just plain red. But another important detail that might be harder to notice is that this one is quite a bit smaller, which actually works in its favour in my opinion. It looks more like a typical superhero cape, and less of a formal slash status thing like the other one. This sackboy just looks a lot braver than before, and obviously the movement of the cape still looks awesome. Number 29, Bunny Ears. This is one of the best animal based costumes, and it's another one that's super simple so there isn't that much to say about it. It's just a really cute looking costume on Sackboy, that again, combining with hair just looks super cool and natural. It even reacts really well in the air when Sackboy moves around. The inclusion of the headband is nice, and the colours are very sweet. Number 28, Wedding Veil. I couldn't believe how big this costume was when looking at it again. It pretty much goes all the way to the ground, and all of that fabric is able to move around super smoothly in natural looking ways. It's amazing how good the simulations are in this game. The material of the fabric is really cool too, most of it being silky, and the edges being made of a more detailed material that we've seen before. And what really completes the whole thing are the flowers on the front that change with the puppet colour. Just a really impressive costume for what it is. Number 27, Neon Dress. Ignoring a certain costume, this is the only torso piece that glows for some reason. So I already like it for that reason alone, but the layout of the dress is actually pretty cool too. I don't think I've ever seen a dress made up of four rings that are completely separated, but that's what makes it look interesting. It goes well with the kind of futuristic style that the neon costumes give off. And I like that it was a dress of all things that they decided to include in the set, instead of just pants or a shirt. Number 26, Red Kimono. This is that costume that shares the exact same material with the red flowers skin, which is never a bad thing, I just think that it's interesting. This is a really nice piece of traditional clothing that fits in with the islands perfectly. Being able to see the two layers of the red part adds a lot, and the black bow around the whole thing is perfect as well. It's a super cool looking material, and the bow itself is really cute to see on the back. I almost didn't notice, but the two loose parts on the sleeves are also a great detail that adds a lot of depth. Number 25, Japanese Festival Robe. This is one of the costumes that the puppet colour does the most for, as even though it takes up most of the space, the black and white elements really balance it out well. The black trim on the whole thing is done really nicely, and the white checkers, and circles that look like emitters, add the most character to it. I really like that you can actually see the two halves of the robe laying on top of each other. The rope holding it together is nicely detailed, and gives the outfit as a whole a nice amount of variety, while still fitting in as well. Number 24, Pink Splat. This might just be my favourite material in the game, but I don't think that is the best one. It does have that typical white base, but I think this is an instance where it benefits because of it, since the white goes quite well with the pink. Colours aside, the layout of the pattern looks really cool with how it's tripping down Sackboy's face. I like how it's going past his eyes, but not his mouth. Number 23, Happy Eyes. This is a really simple design for a pair of eyes that works well for Sackboy. It's super minimal, being made up of only two semicircles, but it really does make Sackboy look quite happy, and is overall a nice addition to any outfit by bringing a lot of positivity. I would probably argue that these eyes are actually more cartoonish than the cartoon eyes. And finally, here are the costumes that I think are absolutely amazing. Number 22, Polka Dot Black Dress. This is another default costume that is surprisingly good in my opinion. Black and pink always go well together, but the addition of the white dots makes it a lot more interesting, which also applies to the pink stars too. The bottom of it also moves around in the wind, which is cool. Number 21, Brown Knit. And here it is, the most iconic look that Sackboy has. This material is Sackboy, and it's obvious why this was chosen to be the default skin that would be seen by so many people. I probably don't need to say much more. The colours are quite simple, and the texture looks soft and realistic. But more importantly, it looks like something that would actually be used to hand knit a doll. I think that's the best thing about this costume, that it makes you believe that Sackboy could be a real thing that actually fits in and interacts with the real world. Number 20, Green Sock Puppet. I always refer to this costume as the Dinosaur Sock Puppet, 
So it's funny to realize that it's actually just some ambiguous creature, but I'm okay with that. It's still a really cute costume to have within the dinosaur set. It fits in quite well. The eyes look really silly, and are shiny like Sackboys are. I like how red the mouth is, and I'm glad it's such an important part of it. It's one of the coolest things ever that Sackboy can actually puppeteer it by moving his fingers around. Number 19. Scary Fangs. This is my favourite set of teeth by far. They follow the same sort of idea as the white teeth, but have a much better shape. The first thing is that they aren't nearly as big or wide, which makes them look a lot more natural to me and less creepy, which is kind of funny because of the name. But the addition of the fangs is what makes them special. This is something that I'd wear no matter what my outfit was. Number 18. Yellowhead. I've talked a lot today about costumes being good because they're unique, and without a doubt, this is the most unique costume in the entire game. The most obvious feature being that it makes Sackboy completely two-dimensional. For those unaware, this was the very first version of Sackboy, as stated by its description, which makes it a perfect reward for acing the final level of the game. But just as a costume, it's still really cool. I appreciate how the eyes still blink, and his arms and legs move how they should, which actually looks really funny. This is also that other torso costume that glows that I mentioned earlier, which wasn't needed but it's a nice feature. I also only just noticed it now, but Sackboy actually keeps his normal shadow while wearing this. As awesome and unique as this costume is though, you obviously can't wear it with anything else, and it's a bit hard to see sometimes because it's only 2D. Number 17. Rainbow Squares. This material has one of the best use of colour, especially considering how many there are. Included is yellow, green, pink, purple, white and orange which creates kind of a pastel colour palette. The pattern might only be made up of squares, but it works with what the skin is going for. The most common colour here is actually yellow, which sadly is something that I can't say about any other material. It almost looks like an entire outfit with how much is going on. It's only the texture that looks a tiny bit rough here. Number 16. Pink Dot. Now this is a skin that has really nice colours, but also a really unique pattern. The colours here are mostly pink, red and yellow, which honestly makes Sackboy look like a cake combined with the texture. I just want to eat it. But the shapes and designs are what gives me the most interest, as it doesn't just do one thing. There are polka dots, swirls, and lots of smaller circles surrounding bigger ones. I couldn't ask for anything better for a pink based material. Number 15. Schoolgirl Dress. And this is my favourite torso costume, which is another one whose icon doesn't actually match what it looks like, since the real version scarf is red and not blue. Which is good because the red looks better. Overall, this is a dress that has a very formal look, while still having a nice amount of detail. The sleeves matching the colour looks nice, and the red contrasts the blue pretty well. The skirt also stands out on its own, and the collar extending to the back like the cowboy bandana is quite good too. Number 14. Mexican Wrestler. This is such a cool design for a material, that's instantly recognisable with what it's trying to represent. All of the yellow, red and pink colours go together perfectly, and allows the most attention to be drawn to Sackboy's face due to the black outlines, where there are also eye and mouth cutouts for him. The flame patterns on his body and face look great, overall creating a super funny, but amazing looking skin, that's made even better, by having an entirely different character that looks so similar to it. I can't think of a skin that fits any better into the world that it's from. Number 13. Neon Helmet. I never understood why the icon for this costume wasn't glowing. The wireframe pattern also looks different on it, which doesn't actually matter. Costumes that glow so much are always going to be automatically cooler to me, if it's done properly anyway. But even if this costume didn't glow, it would still have a really cool shape, with how it dips in between his eyes, and creates a big point at the very back and next to his mouth. The wireframe pattern is good too, it'd be weird without it, and the white glowing parts makes it easy to see where the edges are. Number 12. Zombie Girl. Like the Mexican wrestler, this material has a great design that pretty much can stand on its own as a completed outfit. The off-white colour is a really nice choice here that goes perfectly with the black skeleton that's over the entire thing. I especially love how there's a spine on the back. The face is what has the most interest though, as the eyes have that spiky shape around them, and the pink lips as the perfect amount of colour to what would have just been black and white. It's also really funny how the teeth are exposed, making Sackboy look like he's constantly doing some kind of awkward grin. Oh, and the costume also glows as if it wasn't already cool enough. Number 11. Red Horns. I'm really surprised that this costume doesn't glow since it's associated with the Devil set, but I don't think it needs it. It doesn't actually have Devil in the name, so maybe it's not part of the Devil set. But anyway, this is a super cool looking headpiece that gives Sackboy a ton of character. Being able to wear hair with this costume is one of the best things ever, as it's such a great accessory. 
In my opinion though, the best thing about this costume is how the horns are actually coming out of Sackboy's head. Like, they've actually torn their way through the material. This totally wasn't necessary at all, but it just makes it look so much cooler. The tears even change material depending on what skin is used. Number 10. Mirror Sunglasses. I would be surprised if there was anyone who doesn't think that these glasses are the best ones in the game. They're just that cool. I probably don't even need to say much about them. The frames look like they're made out of gold, and the lenses are the shiniest thing that I've ever seen. I really love that they made the reflection look like a sunset on these glasses specifically, since for most other reflections in the game, they just use an image of the gardens. I don't think Sackboy can look any cooler when he's wearing these things. Number 9. Neon Wireframe. Now this is a cool skin. One of the only ones that are primarily black too, but that's not even the main part of it. Wireframes are always a cool thing to see, and what they've done here isn't any different. Obviously it glows, but the wireframe extends across Sackboy's whole body, specifically going around his eyes, putting other circular patterns on his head, and cool lines across his whole body. The fact that the design also extends into his mouth is something I'm not sure if I've seen with any other skins, so it's nice to see. There's also a giant glowing circle on his chest that I think are meant to match the neon eyes, which is pretty cool, but it really just reminds me of an arc reactor. So if that's its purpose, then I'm happy. It would be nice if the skin used a higher resolution though, since it's super noticeable on some of the lines. Number 8. Button Eyes. These are the simplest pair of eyes in the game, which is good for a default costume. This is one that really speaks for itself, I think. The shiny look combined with solid black really does a lot to make it appealing. I don't know if it's even possible to create an outfit where these eyes wouldn't look good. Like the brown knit, they're just a part of him and his identity that so many people have come to love. Number 7. Mini Sackboy TM. This is what I think is the best hand costume in the game. Partly because it's just so cute, but the concept is amazing too. The idea of giving Sackboy a doll of himself, because he is a doll, is just such a good idea, and it really looks cool. The way the body bounces around is really funny and the eyes being the same material as the real ones is also great. I do wish it had a zipper on it, but I don't think that's a problem. They are allowed to have different features. Saying that though, it would be super cool if the doll mimics what material you were wearing, or could just be customised in certain ways, but I understand why that would be hard. That didn't stop me from doing it myself though. Number 6. Piñata. For me, this is the most nostalgic material in the game, and I have to think it's because of all the colours. The layout of them is done really nicely. I really like that it isn't just a gradient, and that it instead uses these wavy circular patterns to separate each colour. This is also the skin that has pretty much the exact same layout as the tree material. The name is also really funny here because they could have just called it Rainbow or whatever, but this is a lot more amusing and goes back to being related to the canyons. And it reveals that the colour separation is actually the layers of paper. I'm disappointed that I've never seen a real Sackboy piñata that uses this material. That sounds like it would be hilarious. Number 5. Long Lash Eyes. I think that these are the best eyes in the game because of how they combine elements from the cartoon eyes with the button eyes. Like the cartoon eyes, the white parts make them closer to what real eyes look like, but it doesn't surround the whole thing, letting the dark parts still be the focus. The lashes themselves are quite stylish and complete the entire costume, giving Sackboy very natural and realistic looking eyes, while still looking completely normal and not leaving the art style. Like some other costumes, I would wear this with basically any outfit ever. Number 4. Ninja Scarf. I'm always amazed at how cool this costume actually is. Making only Sackboy's eyes visible works perfectly for this kind of thing, and actually having the hood separate from the mask looks really good, which both use that nice canvas material. The shape of the back of the hood is cool too, and the knot at the bottom that moves in the air is also nice. But what makes this costume special is the bandana that goes around the hood that has really long ends. Not only is it cool because it's long and flies in the air, but it also uses the poppet colour, making it perfect for personalising it. There's even a flower pattern that's kind of hard to see, which, surprisingly, are actually the same flowers from the kimono and red flower skin. This costume also goes perfectly with its dedicated material, making Sackboy look like a real ninja. Number 3. Pigtails Wig. Can you believe that a starting costume was able to make it this high and top an entire category? Because I can. This is by far my favourite, and what I think is the best hairstyle in the game. It has a really unique colour for a wig, that doesn't look too unnatural because of how dark it is, but parts of it are nicely bright too. What makes it special though, is the shape and the layout. The pigtails are high and long on the back of Sackboy's head, and can even move around in the air quite a bit. But without them, the wig would still be pretty good, 
since the rest of the hair is quite long and arranged in a way that looks normal. Overall, this is a hairstyle that looks really cute because of its colour, layout and texture that goes well with pretty much every head costume that allows it. It's also the hair for the character Sky, and she's very cool. Number 2. Zombie Boy. It's hard to pick a best skin in the entire game because there's so many good ones, but I think that this is it. The skeleton pattern on the whole body is really cool on its own, and seeing that spine is still just as cool. I like that this time it's white though, and there's an outline for Sackboy's skull unlike the other one. It makes him look way more like a skeleton. The stitching on the mouth is a nice little detail too, and the green around his eyes is the perfect amount of colour that goes with the black and white so well. This is the perfect costume to make while in the dark. I think it's good that only a few of them do to make this one more special. It's also important to mention that when Sackboy gets electrocuted, this is the skin that it flickers between, so it's really cool that it's also a normal outfit. And the glitch for this skin doesn't count since it's kind of a different costume. It probably wouldn't change its place anyway. And number one, Chinese Dragon Mask. This will never not be my absolute favorite costume in this game. It has everything. Uniqueness, amazing colors, variety of textures, amazing physics on multiple parts, and it even allows hair to be worn with it. It also happens to be another costume where Sackboy's head is inside of something's mouth. And even that's done well. There's almost too much going on here to even talk about. The mask itself is really cute looking, while also being incredibly detailed. I like how the eyes have spirals beneath them, and the green part looks really shiny too. The hair, moustache, horns and eyelashes are also great elements. I didn't even notice it had a nose until now, but the teeth are definitely noticeable, as well as the stripes on the lips. The main focus of this costume though, is definitely the massive material that trails the whole thing which interacts with just about everything it touches in smooth and realistic ways, and also uses a really cool pattern that contains five different colours. But aside from the long material, the eyes of the dragon also bounce around in funny ways, as well as the jaw and other parts subtly moving around with Sackboy's actions. And that was every original Little Big Planet costume. It was pretty hard to rank all of these fairly, just because of the number of them and how much overall detail there is. I'm confident that I got it all generally right though, since it'd probably be impossible to settle on a specific ranking for every single outfit. I'm still reconsidering some of my decisions. So keep in mind that this is almost entirely my opinion. Sorry if I ranked your favourite costume poorly. This was really fun to do so I'm definitely open to doing more rankings. Maybe something with less items though, but let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.